Hey everybody, it's July 23rd, and this is Lee talking about comic books for Long Box Radio. It's the pull list. Uh, we got five books this week, two from DC, one from Image, two from Marvel, and a couple other for the uh, for the lady being Bravest Warriors number 22 and Buffy season 10, uh, five, I believe. So, they're on this pile. Uh, Batman Eternal. Here we are. We're on the 16th week of Batman Eternal. Uh, our the big man is, uh, is uh, on the cover again this week, so looking forward to it. Been liking that series. Series I haven't been liking so much, but is written by the same guy is the regular Batman comic, which is Zero. This is the finale, and if this cover looks a little bit goofy, what with Batman and the purple gloves and the two lines behind him, uh, this is very much in context of what Zero has been all about. So, not digging it. I don't know, man. That's the first thing Snyder's done that I've just kind of been like, I gotta admit, this is not this is not for me. Uh, so, Saga number 21, we have... Oh yeah. A uh, murderous janitor on the cover there. Uh, if you read the last issue, you know what I'm talking about. We talked a little bit on the uh, comic stack the last episode as well, which I'm on as well as Rob. Uh, so looking forward to Saga, probably one of the first books I read every week. It's out, uh, undoubtedly. So moving over to Marvel, they're doing a uh, Original Sin banner thing on all their books. Uh, so I guess there's, there's going to be some kind of tie-in. I don't know... Like, like both these two books, I don't know whatever what else has the original Sin tie-in right now, but uh, like Amazing Spider-Man and Daredevil 6, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 4, there, there's not really anything long-term going on in those books right now. Very easily, uh, you could slip in like a one-shotter, so I think that's what they're doing here, um, but I don't know if it's entirely necessary. The cool thing about Original Sin was kind of just, it's a bunch of superheroes hanging around and just talking about continuity, which is which is fine with me, but it's it's I don't know if it needs to bleed into the other books. But regardless, Amazing Spider-Man number four, uh, it's back. Still uh, still recovering from uh, Superior Spider-Man, of course, and we got the Spider-Verse coming up, so lots on the lots on the docket for old Peter Parker Spider-Man. Uh, that's of course coming to us from Dan Slott and Herberto Ramos, so good times. And then the aforementioned Daredevil number six. Uh, in the last issue we saw Matt Murdock uh, have kind of a genius scheme to allow Foggy to fake his death. Uh, so that he can still get uh, cancer meds in San Francisco, because he wasn't... I don't I don't remember the exact circumstances, because I was really tired when I read it. Uh, but yeah, so Foggy's dead, as far as the world is concerned, he died a hero. So that's what matters, even though Foggy is still very much alive uh, and, and dying of cancer. So, uh, that is number six. Uh, and there's a digital code for that, as well as Amazing Spider-Man. So look for both of those after the show. Uh, and that's all I have to say for this week. More comic books next week. I'm not sure the next comic book st uh, comic stack is. If you want to hear us talk all about uh, Thor switching uh, switching genders there and uh, Falcon taking over for Captain America, you want to go check out Comic Stack, which we recorded. And in the meantime, uh, yeah, enjoy your reading. This these pull lists are actually now on, available at the bottom of ComicStack.ca. Thank you to Mike Haynes uh, for for letting us uh, have some real estate down there. So uh, definitely check it out weekly. Uh, like, comment, whatever. Thank you for watching. Look for those two free digital codes, and now I'm just rambling, so I'm going to go.